Hello developers and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to build our very first Android application using Jetpack Compose. Open Android Studio, select a new project, select empty activity. This is the logo of Compose, so select empty activity. Don't select empty views activity or basic views activity, just select empty activity with this composable logo. Click next. Here we need to specify five things. The first field is, is the name of the application. When you create a new project in Android Studio, the new project panel presents several fields and options that are crucial for setting up your Android applications. The first thing we need to specify is the name, which is the name of the application. This is the human readable name that will appear under your application's icon on the device and in Google Play Store. For example, if you are building a weather app, you might name it as weather app. But for now, we're going to create a greeting app. This name can be changed later on in the uh, strings.xml file under the res slash values folder. Don't worry, we're going to see them later on. The package name, a unique identifier for your application. The purpose of this package name is used to uniquely identify your app on the device and in the Google Play Store. It follows the reserved domain name convention, for example, com.example.weatherapp. In this example, I'm using io.mastercoding. By the way, I'm creating this website and currently under construction. So later on, we can come back to get the latest tutorials on our website. The save location, the directory, on your uh, computer where the project files will be stored. This is the folder where Android Studio will save all files related to your project, including codes, resources, and configuration files. Make sure the save location has enough disk space and is easy for you to access. I'm uh, saving projects inside C, users, and Android Studio projects. The minimum SDK, the minimum version of Android that your app will support. This determines the oldest version of Android that can run your app. Choosing a lower SDK version allows your application to run on more devices, but you may miss out on newer features. Choosing a higher SDK, for example, 31, gives you access to modern APIs, but limits your app to newer devices. You can notice that 48% of devices meet the 31 API. If you choose 24, you can reach 97.4% of the devices. Android Studio provides a distribution chart showing the percentage of devices that support each SDK version. The last thing you need to specify is the build configuration language. The language used to configure your project's build system. This determines whether your build configuration files, the, for example, Build or Gradle, will use Kotlin DSL or Groovy. Groovy, the traditional scripting language used in Gradle files. It's more verbose, but widely supported. The Kotlin DSL and its recommended a newer, more concise, and type-safe way to write Gradle scripts using Kotlin. Kotlin DSL is recommended for new projects, especially if you're already familiar with Kotlin. This choice affects the build.gradle.kts Kotlin DSL or build.gradle Groovy files. After that, we need to click Finish in order to allow Android Studio to create our project. Wait for building this project by seeing and uh, finishing the importing Gradle files and all processes here. Once your project is ready, you'll see few files generated for you. The most important one is mainactivity.kt file, where you'll write our compose code. So this is our mainactivity.kt file. Here we have the project files and don't worry if you got uh, frustrated with all of these features and uh, panels and uh, buttons. We're going to clarify everything later on in the next future projects and lessons. Okay, 
Before we write any code, let's define some key terms you'll encounter in Jetpack Compose. The composable, you can notice here, if scroll down, we have a composable function called a greeting. A composable function is a function that defines a piece of your UI. It's annotated with add composable annotation and can be reused throughout your app. In Compose, your UI is built as a hierarchy of composable functions. Each function represents a component like a button or text, and they are nested to create complex layouts. Inside this function called the greeting, we have two parameters, name of type string and the modifier of type modifier. In the next uh, videos, we're going to learn about modifiers. Inside the greeting, we have a text composable. Also, we're going to learn more about text in the next videos. We, that text contains two parameters, text and modifier. And here inside this text, we defined a string called hello and passing the name. When calling this greeting, if you scroll up, you can notice that calling this need to pass two parameters, the name and the modifier. Here we are passing the Android, so the application would show for us, hello Android. If you change, uh, for example, hello master coding channel. If we run the application, and here we go, this is our lovely application displaying hello master coding channel. So congratulations guys, you created your very first Android application using Jetpack Compose. If you scroll down to here, you can notice a preview, composable greeting preview. One of the best features of Jetpack Compose is the ability to preview your UI in real time. To see our hello world text, we can use preview annotation. You can click on the split mode by going to Alt plus Shift plus Right, or you can click on this icon in order to generate a live preview for our application. So when you click on the split mode, uh, you can know, you can see the preview. So by adding the preview annotation for the function, you can see our greeting function composable rendered directly in Android Studio. So here, greeting Android, let me check for uh, master coding. Android Studio will refresh the preview to set the live preview. Okay, so this is a quick recap. What the, we did in this video is creating our very first Android app using the Jetpack Compose. Also, we learned about the preview annotation and the composable annotation. Before we close, you can get the complete Android 15 course, Jetpack Compose. It's a, it's a bestseller course on Udemy. You can apply the coupon. Uh, for example, master coding, you can download the, the, and get the master coding uh, coupons, master coding three, four, five, and so on. Try the numbers to get, or you can contact me to get the coupon. So you get all these lessons and lectures and join this bestseller course only with $13. Okay, so contact me if you are interested in getting uh, the, the coupons and joining this course. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest tutorials. See you in the next lecture. I'll not be late. I'm going to upload regularly about four videos in a week. See you guys.